What up ladies and gents, just a quick video today to talk about the add-ons that I'm using, quick add-on guide, and I'm gonna split it up into three sections. It's gonna be general, leveling, and PVP. So maybe there's something here that you haven't seen before that you find useful, you can grab for yourself. Uh, I will be putting all of the add-ons in my sub-channel on my Discord, so if you are interested in just grabbing them all in one go, you can do that easily there. I will also have my profiles available there as well, so you can copy my UI if you like. So first of all, in the general section, the first add-on on the list, which I wholeheartedly recommend, is Leetrix Plus. Which you can do loads of uh, automated stuff with, automate quests, automate gossip. You can auto sell junk, auto repair. There's a few interesting things here. You can loot quicker with it. Skips movies. Uh, it shows the price of items. And plenty of other stuff as well. You can even hide griffins. There's plenty of people that ask about hiding griffins. That's in there as well. So yeah, there's loads of stuff that you can do with this. Really powerful add-on, I really recommend it. The next is Atlas Loot. Needs no introduction, I'm sure you've all seen it before. Just to quickly go through different bosses, see what's available. Uh, pretty standard stuff, I'm sure there'll be an updated version for when SOD comes out, so you'll be able to see what all new things you can get in the new raid. Next up is Details. And I'm sure you know this one as well. Mostly I use it for PvP, but you can definitely use it for PvE as well, of course. And this actually helped me break down different fights. Sometimes if I'm not sure what happened, I want to see exactly what spells got cast, how much damage certain things did. Uh, I use details for this. It's very useful in, in PvP to kind of break things down after the fact and try to understand better uh, what's happening in the game. The next add-on is Auctionator. And this is a really simple auction house add-on. Adds a couple of tabs at the bottom, but basically what it does is it allows you to create lists. Um, it makes shopping, selling, everything a lot easier. The next one, on the list is going to be Nova World Buffs, and this is super handy for seeing what layer you're on here. Allows you to easily swap layers. This is probably going to be a thing at launch quite a lot on SOD, so I recommend grabbing that if you are running into some sort of congestion. Maybe you can swap layer and find yourself easier and uh, less congested layer. Next up, we have Modern Target Frame, and what this does, very simple, it just shows you the actual HP of the thing you're targeting here as opposed to just a blank space. Very, very handy add-on. You can make it show percentage, you can make it show numbers. The next add-on is five second rule. See this little ticker here? This is five second rule. What this shows me is when my mana is ticking so that you can potentially time spells right after the tick because the ticks are not continuous, right? They're discrete, right? So it's like the tick, the, the mana tick only happens every 2.5 seconds when this bar reaches the end. What actually happens when you cast a spell and use mana, it shows you the five seconds ticking down of where you're not regening other than from meditation. This is where your spirit is halted. Then you see it start ticking back up again. So a very useful add-on for min-maxing your mana. The next add-on I want to talk about is range display. And that's what these numbers are up here. The game kind of estimates roughly how far away from the mob I am. So it makes it a lot easier to know exactly when I'm going to be in range. The next one is character stats classic. And what this does is it creates a more user-friendly selection of stats that you can view under your character here as opposed to the default absolutely nothing. Uh, next is going to be item rack and that will allow you to switch items easily just by hovering over stuff and you can create menus for trinkets and things like that as well depending on what you want to swap to so you can go like this. Uh, there's, there's, there's plenty of stuff you can do. You can write all sorts of little scripts and stuff with it. Uh, events, stuff like that, so that it switches between trinkets in a specific order. All that good stuff. So I use it for a very basic, basic functionality of just swapping items, basically. But you can do way, way more with it if you're if you're good with that kind of thing. Uh, and the last one on the list needs no introduction is weak auras. And I'm going to quickly go through my weak auras, which will also be available in my sub channel. But there's nothing too crazy right now. I'm sure that will change in SOD as I add more to it. Mostly these things at the moment are things like Glimmering Mithril Insignia to show when I can't fear. Uh, we've got Inner Fire missing, so that displays up here when I don't have my Inner Fire on. When I pop it, it goes away just to remind me. Uh, Mob Tagger is something I actually use for level leveling. Resto Pot will pop up here when there's a Resto Pot active on the target. Uh, Elema Ellie Mastery as well. Rocket Helm as well will ping up here with a, little, a nice little audio. Uh, Shadow Reflector is up here as well, and Skull 
And then we also have an XP per hour tracker for leveling up here. So shout out to Soulbound for some of those weak auras. He hooked me up with them. Now, moving on to leveling. So the first one we're going to talk about is obviously going to be rested XP. You can use any sort of leveling guide you wish. I personally use rested XP. And if you are interested in grabbing yourself a copy, then you can use code Hydra for 5% off. There is going to be a link in the description. So it's easy as pie. Just follow the arrow, follow the quests that it tells you to do on here. Even if you're, you're the, not a good quester, you can just follow follow the route and get a pretty good. Next up is speedrun splits. I just use this to sort of compete with myself on new characters just to see how fast I'm going compared to the last character. Takes away a little bit of the monotony of leveling if you're actually trying to aim towards something. So I like that, but by no means necessary. Let's be honest. Next up, we've got stat weights classic. And that's what these little numbers are. A lot of people ask me, what are these little numbers under here on the boss? These are actually DPS and HPS. And up to level 40, Normally, you're not going to be playing Shadow. You're going to be playing the Tri-Spec, which means you're going to be using Smite, Holy Fire, Wand, and Mind Blast a lot. Now, being able to see the DPS of those individual skills helps you gauge which one's the priority, those kind of things. And it also gives you a whole bunch of other info over on the right, so you can see how efficient certain spells are and which ones are going to be more optimal in certain situations. So this way, you can tailor your rotation in each mob to not go oom, but also maximize your DPS. Next up, we've got Unit Scan. And most people will know unit scan, but basically what it does is you can type in slash unit scan and then the name of a mob. So if we go and find a mob over here, here we go, swine, unit scan swine. When there is a swine in range, the add-on detects it and does this. And you can just click on it and it will target the mob and mark it. So this is very good for avoiding things like uh, suns in uh, Silver Pie Forest and also looking for rares, for example, prints. Uh, when you're looking for the tidal charm, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you can keep yourself safe using the unit scan to avoid any uh, nasty encounters. Next up is going to be Classic Beastiery. What Classic Beastiery does, if you look at the tooltip in the bottom right, it shows what abilities that mob has. So if the mob has any nasty abilities like an execute or like a dodgy wind fury or a stun or a silence, you'll be able to see that straight away. And the last add-on that I use for leveling, this one's very useful, is what's training. And this basically just tells me what's going to be available, you know, in the next few levels, what rank that it's, it's going to be. So before even going to the vendor, I can be like, oh, yeah, next level is going to be a banger for me. Better go that to, go to town ASAP on that level. Or, oh, I don't learn any new damage spells at this level. I can probably take a lower priority on going back to town for that level. Now, on to the PvP add-ons. And the first one is going to be advanced interface options. And this is going to give you loads of settings that aren't in the normal options. And it's going to allow you to change your lag tolerance really easily. Change certain things about floating contact, uh, combat text. You can change nameplates. Uh, but most importantly, you get C-Bar browser. So if you know certain settings that you want to change, uh, for example, uh, latency, you can change the spell queue window here. You can set low latency mode to two for reflex so that it spells are more crisp shall we say i have no idea if it works but we put it on two reflexes apparently good so you never know there's loads of stuff in here i'm not going to obviously go into detail of all of it but if you do find stuff this is a really easy way to switch it on and off so next up we have big debuffs and what big debuffs does usually what i like to use it for is the the raid frames it shows certain things larger on the raid frames you can set things like fear poly whatever you need to dispel to be to be larger next to the raid frame so that it's way more obvious and you can dispel it a lot quicker but it also shows up certain important things on nameplates of enemies so if for example the enemy pops a cooldown or you know uses skull or a resto pot or whatever then that should show on the nameplate which is generally very helpful it's going to increase your awareness a lot next up is going to be diminish and what Diminish does is, is shows on your, um, it, show, it can show for player, it can show for target, it can show for party. So personally, I like it on player, but you can definitely use it on party as well if you're doing arena, uh, if you're not playing classic. If you're playing classic, there is no arena, you, you can use it for BGs. And you can track all these different, different DRs, right? Personally, I'm just using it for fears and incapacitates, but you can use it for stuns and stuff like that as well. Just to show that when you're off DR, when you're on DR, when you can play aggressively, that, that kind of thing. So it's just more information, more power to you. Next up is going to be Battleground Targets Classic, which currently is not installed, but it will basically give you sort of arena frames for your Battleground Targets. 
So I recommend that one. Uh, then we've got Omnibar, which you can use to track all sorts of cooldowns. Mostly I just use it for for quite simple stuff on, on Wrath, but on Classic, I'm actually using it for most of the cooldowns because normally what I do is I, I, I track cooldowns on the arena frames, but there's no arena frames in Classic, so we have to track it in a slightly different way. So that's what I'm using Omnibar for right now. Uh, and I'm also using it for kicks. So I've got two separate bars, one for kicks and one for cooldowns. Uh, and then we have Omni CD, which is your friendly teammates cooldowns. Same sort of thing. You can attach it to the frames and see what cooldowns your, your teammates have up and, and don't. And then the final one is enemy cooldown cane. And this one is currently for me being used to track loads of miscellaneous cooldowns like pot cooldown, uh, grenade cooldown, uh, and rune cooldown generally. But yeah. This is a very, very handy little add-on, and it will tell you based on your target what cooldowns they currently have. So if there's like a quite hectic battle going on in Battlegrounds, you don't want to be flooding your screen with loads of different grenade cooldowns. So depending on the, the person you're targeting, you'll be able to see what they actually have up. And that's it. That's all my add-ons currently that I'm using. If I do grab anything else, I'll be sure to let you guys know. It will go in the sub-channel, but for now, that's what I'm running. If you guys have any more suggestions for add-ons, please do let me know. I'd be happy to hear them. If not, see you in the next one.